Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Well, today I'm going to do a video that I kind of got inspired by the number of questions I get from you guys about well, what's your favorite this and what's your favorite that and what do you think about this, what do you think about that? So I thought, you know, why don't I just share the things that I use on a daily basis, the things I'm obsessed with, and if I had to pick something from every category, what are those things I would need to grab onto? All right, let's talk about primers. Now, primers are a hard one to talk about what's your favorite. It's because it really is going to make a difference on what foundation you're using. Um, so do you need something that's moisturizing? Do you need something that's going to have a glow to it? But I can tell you there's two products that I always, always, always have to use prior to putting on any other primer. Uh, the first one is the Winky Lux, and this is the Whipped Cream Primer. So I will take just a little bit of this product and anywhere that I have pores I want to minimize or fine lines, I'll take this, like it says, it's whipped. So it's a little hard to kind of control. I hope you can see it on my finger there. And you just go to where you want it and it just makes your skin feel soft and powdery like almost. So it just leaves such a beautiful finish. And then what I like to do, and also I love getting Winky Lux products because I love their packaging. So pretty, always so pretty. Then I also love the, this is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. Um, this one I'm really getting down to <laughs> hardly anything, but I have one other jar in here. Oh, that one's empty too. I thought that one was a full one. Okay, time to order more. Um, I will just take a dry sponge on this one and I will gather some up on the sponge and just go around my face where I have pores or again fine lines that I want to also fill. So this is another great product. So those are my pore filling items that I use. Now, if I need something that's hydrating, then I go in with the J-Cat H2O Fresh Dewy Base Primer. Really inexpensive. You can get this from Ulta, and it is so good and so hydrating. Um, if I want to have something that's kind of dewy, I'll go with either my Essence Prime in Studio. It's their Glow Boosting and Pore Minimizing Primer. I don't feel this minimizes my pores in any way, but it does give a nice glow that will come through any foundation that you're wearing, even a full coverage one. Or I can use, so that's the drugstore version. If you want to go with the high end, I've got the Becca Skin Love, and this is a Brighten and Blur Primer. Again, I don't feel like it blurs anything out, but it does indeed brighten. Now, if you don't want to spend the money on the Tarte uh, Primer, Grab yourself some of the Catrice Prime and Fine. This is basically the exact same thing. You can see it's that same thick paste. Um, it's a little more slippery than the Tarte is, but it's actually a very good product. So that will give you a good cost saving. Now, if you like things that are more silicone, um, this one by Wander is their Smooth Saline Perfecting Primer. Awesome one. Reminds me quite a bit of the Smashbox primer. So it's clear and it just leaves that silicone feel behind. The other option is go to your local drugstore and pick up some of the Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel. It's got to be the powder gel, not the cream. This stuff, believe it or not, it's an awesome primer. So it's clear. Again, it just glides right on and it leaves your skin feeling so soft and silky. Again, that powdery type feel. So if you have a foundation that uh, requires a primer that has a slip to it, go with either one of these. And again, you can also use the um, Smashbox one, so that's another good option as well. Now, if you want to have a primer that's maybe going to give you a little bit of color to help out, maybe a BB cream or a CC cream, or even a light coverage foundation, or maybe you just want to have a little bit of color to your face because you're just going to run around town and do some errands, 
I highly recommend the Lancome Skin Feels Good and this is a sunscreen as well with an SPF of 23. So this is great again to give you just a little bit of a skin tint. Now don't be freaked out because it does have a color to it. That's the whole idea of this. So that is the skin tint right there. And if I rub that out, this is another great thing that you can just like put on your legs or something if you want to get a little bit of color. So I've taken that down my arm. So that's what it looks like now. This is my arm without it on there. So you can see there's a nice difference. And again, even where it's on its own, my palm is got it on it, so be careful. Um, but, and don't wear this with white pants either if you're using it on your legs. Um, but again, it just gives you some primer, some SPF in it, and a little bit of color to give you a little bit of a glow. Okay, now that we have covered all of the primers, and that's my primer drawer, let's move on to the concealers. So, I'm going to start off with um, what I always start off with, and that is I need to conceal the dark under eye circles that I have that will never go away because they're hereditary. So I start off with the Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer. This is in color number one, and it is the Peach Color Corrector. So I will just take a uh, makeup brush, dip in here, swipe it under each eye, tap it in with my sponge, and then I'm good to go there. And then, because I'm extra, I have um, another layer of concealer that I put on before I go in with my foundation. So I'm going to share three drugstore ones with you and one high-end. First one is the e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer. Don't confuse it with the HD one because that's not as good. It needs to be the 16-hour camo if you want some really good coverage. It's got the big old um, wand on it. Yes, it looks a lot like the Tarte Shape Tape. And it acts like the Tarte Shape Tape for a fraction of the price. So there you can see the coverage on it. And the other one I really, really like is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. I'll just kind of switch back and forth between those two normally. Um, just whatever is easier to reach. Again, nice big wand, and that's what it looks like. And then recently, I've discovered the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is another great one. It's got a much smaller wand to it, but I like that when I really need to get into some precise areas. Now, this one's a little thicker. You need to act fast with it because it can dry down pretty fast, but I haven't had any problems with it creasing on me. So those are my drugstore ones. When it comes to a high-end one, I love the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. And even the tube, look at that top on it, it's so pretty. But what I like on this, and again, it has the small wand on it. It actually reminds me of the Milani. That's what that one kind of reminds me of. Um, but um, sometimes I have foundations that I know are just going to settle in my smile lines. So I like this brush that I can take in there and kind of fill those in. And um, that helps not have the foundation get all caked up in there. So this is the uh, tart here on the side. Then I go in with my foundation. And again, because I'm extra, I go in with the Huda Beauty, the Overachiever Concealer. This is my second tube of this. Now, what's really nice about it is the tip on it, sorry, it's a little dirty, but it's stainless steel. So as you're applying it, you get that coolness. So if you have any puffiness to your eyes, even if you don't put any of the concealer on, you can just take this, as I'm getting it on my face now, and just go under your eyes with this. And it's so cool, even though this room's hot. But you just take the littlest bit of this, and then I will apply under the eyes, take my sponge, tap it out, blend it in, I'm good to go. So those are the concealers that if I had to take one, I couldn't. I really couldn't. I'd have to take at least a couple of them. 
So, all right, now let's move on to foundation. And I'm afraid I'm going to have uh, just as many obstacles with that because when it comes to foundation, a lot of it depends on where are you going when you wear this? You know, are you going to be out in the sun where it's really hot? Um, and you're going to worry about sweating. Are you going to be going to a fancy engagement type thing? Is it just your everyday foundation? So I'm going to give you a few options. And also, do you want something that's matte or do you want something that's luminous? So, so many choices. So let's start with a powdered foundation um, that's drugstore. This is the Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation. You can get this at Ulta. And it is a powder. So you have a mirror on the inside. And then you've got the powdered product. This is the color ivory. And then underneath is the little sponge. Use the sponge, you guys. It really is the best way to apply the product. And what I like about this one is you can get the sponge wet and you can actually apply the product wet to get full coverage. If you want light coverage, then just keep the sponge dry. You can also go in with this if you just need a quick touch up on your makeup somewhere. Or if you want to like carve out your jawline or something because maybe you went too far down with your bronzer or your concealer, concealer um, contour. So this is a great one. And again, it's easy to just throw in your purse. Now, if I was wanting a foundation that's going to last me throughout the day that's a liquid foundation and it's hot. I would go with the CoverGirl Outlast. So this is a 24-hour foundation. Um, it does have a sunscreen in it as well and I don't know what this sunscreen is on here though. I'll put it down here but this is a beautiful foundation. Um, it is supposed to be like sweat resistant, humidity resistant, all that kind of stuff. So this is a really pretty one for those. So that will take care of the sweaty environments. <laughs> we would say that. If you want something that has a beautiful coverage to it that is so quick and easy to apply and just melts right into your skin, the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Fine. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I pulled this out again recently and thought, why did I ever quit using this? Now, it has the biggest wand in history. Look at this guy. Huge. And you need to dip in a couple of times to be able to do your whole face and work fast with this. But it looks flawless on your skin. And they actually even make a, sorry, um, a cream version of this, so a stick version. And what I like about the Makeup Revolution products is everything uses the same number. So in this, I'm in F4. In this, I'm in F4. In their concealer, which is C, so F for foundation, C for concealer, I'm in C4. Everything matches. I don't have to guess what my color is all the way across the board. And then if you want just beautiful coverage, maybe you've got a special dinner date or something like that, and you want your skin looking top notch, I would go with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. This has such a beautiful finish. It just makes your skin look like your skin, but perfect. So it doesn't get cakey or anything like that. It's just gorgeous, and I highly recommend this one. So those are the drugstore ones. This is my high-end drawer. So I'll start with the powdered foundations like we just did. And I have two, but I'm really only going to show one because this quickly became my new favorite. It's the one I'm wearing today. And trust me, I have been outside. It's hot. It was in the like mid to upper 80s today. And I was sweating. I was getting in my car um, that had been out in the parking lot for a couple hours. And it was hot. It takes my car a while to kind of cool down because I drive an SUV. But I'm talking about the Makeup Forever. And this is the Matte Velvet Skin. I just did a um, review on this like a week ago when you're seeing this. Maybe a little more than a week ago. But again, powder foundation. You get the bra or the sponge with it, use the sponge. 
The white side, if you use that, you're going to get um, kind of light coverage. If you use the black side, you're going to get more full coverage. You just simply wipe it, you dip it in, fix everything that you need to fix, and your skin is just going to look beautiful, flawless. It's so fast to do. Make sure you put all of your liquids on before you do a powder foundation because you never want to go in with liquids um, on top of the powder. It will just look horrible that way. Now, if I was going out to a very nice dinner or um, just want to look super, super good, I would go in. Oh, my God. It's got all my fingerprints on this. Sorry. This is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. This is a more liquidy foundation, and what I like about that is you don't need a lot. It gives you extremely full coverage, and because it is so creamy and lightweight, it doesn't get cakey at all on your skin. It's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this is also a great foundation if you have a thicker one, or maybe one that's too dark and this is a little lighter, you can add this to another foundation as well. But I love it on its own. Um, if you want to go matte, 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 just total matte, go with the Cover Effects Power Play Foundation. Again, it's a very lightweight, easy to apply, quick to get in. You can go in with a sponge or a brush on any of these, or even your fingers, and they look so good. If you want something that's maybe a little bit of a glow to it, I would go with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. Another beautiful one. So I'm going to... Oh, oh, I can't stop here. i got one more. Um, if you want a beautiful luminous look, then go with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Ugh. This is so expensive, which is why I have the little bottle, because you can get the little one. I have so many foundations, I don't ever use them up. I just don't. So get this one if you ever have a chance. Um, you might want to wait for the VIB sales and pick it up then too, because it's expensive. Okay, facial powders. There's only one I'm going to recommend for the under eye area, and that is the Joa's Good catch. Do you see that? It's the Joa Selfie Ready, and this is the setting powder in translucent. They make this in a banana, and they also make it in a peach shade. Let's see if it will show when I take this lid off. Did you see that puff that came out? It is so finely milled. And yes, it can be a mess. So what I do is I will tap my brush into it lightly, very lightly. And then I have the lid turned upside down and then I tap it off into the lid. And that's just enough to do both eyes. So um, I use this because it just dissolves into nothing and is so soft and beautiful. Now, again, it just depends on, for the rest of my face, what it is I want to accomplish. <laughs> um, I've pretty much gone away from using any loose powders on my face. I love the Kevin Aquan, and this is the Central Skin Powder Foundation. I have a link to this where you can get a lot cheaper. Um, hopefully they still have it, but TJ Maxx online, you can get a lot of great high-end products out there for a fraction of the price that you would get it in a drugstore. But the Kevin Aquan is, I've already hit pan on it, but it's a beautiful powder as well. I'm going to be all powdery on my chin now. Um, I'm laying it all there. But this is just beautiful. But if you want a drugstore version, I would go with the Physician's Formula. I had several different colors of this. I have four of them, I do. So this is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Powder. You have to be a little careful. Um, powders like this, they tend to be very thin. So this is a new one. This is the same color, and hopefully you can see how quickly I hit pan. Let me turn it at an angle for you. So if you can see, it's not all that thick. So it looks like you're going to get a lot in the pan, but it goes fast. Um, I was lucky not too long ago. My friend Meyer was having to buy one, get one free. Uh, there is a compartment down below to keep the little sponge as well. And I love this stuff. Just love it. 
What I like to do is tap it all in and then I'll take a very dense brush, rub it in there, and then I'll go around and kind of buff everything into my skin and just love the way it gives me a beautiful finish on there. If I wanted to go high end, I would go with my Wonder Beauty and this is in the color light. What do they call this? It's the, actually it's a powder foundation that I use it as a powder for my skin. You get the little puff in it and it has a compact that opens like so. You also have the mirror inside, um, but you can just dip in. Oop. You don't mean to do that there. And just tap it in wherever you need to go. And again, because the case closes up, every or closes up, the top covers it. It's very handy to have for travel because you don't have to worry about that breaking. And those are the powders that I have to have. That wraps everything up. I hope I've answered all of your questions. If I haven't, leave me a comment down below and let me know. So if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you give it a, a thumbs up, not a shums up. It's getting late at night. I'm getting a little tired of movie, I guess. So but anyway, give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoy these types of videos as well as does help me out with YouTube. And if you're new to my channel or you just haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the bell notification. That way you'll be notified when I upload new videos, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So, all this being said, thanks so much for watching. And as always, I love you all. Bye-bye.